on approach just make sure you've got a good clearance all around before you actually do the checks make sure that the all the switches are off and the master key is oh it is so uh, I've got the brakes are on so cowling make sure the cowling is secure uh, oil open the hatch check the oil level is between the two minimum and maximum yep that's about two thirds three quarters make sure it's resealed make sure the panel is resealed propellers make sure there's no cracks chips make sure there's no cracks and chips make sure that the cowling is secure make sure that the windscreen is secure no cracks make sure that the front assembly is secure make sure the front assembly is secure and then check the uh, the air intakes uh, that they're all clear intakes are all clear um, for water first time of the morning you can check it because it's not too hot um, move the panel just a little bit like a car radiator but you only check it in the morning and I can check that there's actually fluid up to the rim and there is uh, make sure that the cap is completely secure again a little bit fiddly especially on my fingers but make sure that that is on and secure and then make sure that the panel is back on and secure There's sufficient water make sure that the cowl is secure on this side um, on the on the starboard side make sure that the door hinges uh, are clear and it locks make sure that the pin is actually inside the the gear and the wing struts uh, in the gear making sure that the brakes are okay that there's no creep and inflated okay and that the uh, structure is sound um, when we're checking the uh, struts just make sure everything is nice and secure yep and then we'll also check that the the join is is tight yep and we've got no tears or holes on the uh, the main wing check the, the struts as well no tears or anything on the wing yep, everything looks okay everything looks feels sound um, with the aileron um, if you actually lift it up you can see it moving the control columns moving but you can check that the split pins in each of the, the points and that the coupling is is nice and secure yep and that the flap is actually on and it looks secure and it's secure um, flaps you can't move the flaps but you can check that they are secure check these struts again and check it from this check the gear from this end okay so I want to make sure that the um, the fuel cap is is secure make sure that the um, fuselage is all secure uh, can make sure the air is secure um, then the, the tail plane assembly make sure that the rudder is okay that the elevator is nice and secure at this point and then when we come around to the elevator on the starboard side again make sure that the split pins are in place that we've got good movement and there's no and it's secure uh, that the spar is secure that the that the rudder is secure and then the left um, elevator uh, the split pins are in place yep the split pins are there that there's the movement is okay and that you do have the uh, uh, the trim tab is there and the trim tab is secure can't do any more checks on that check that the port tailplane section is okay fuselage is good on this side now here we've got our, our uh, fuel and luggage compartment you can call it a luggage compartment and take the panel off and we've got a few things we can check in here we check that the fuel 
sufficient and we have 50 litres of fuel and we can also check that there's no leaks, that we, there's no loose items inside this area that looks okay looks alright, don't see any loose items, there's no luggage to go in place and all the cables, rods and everything look as if they're in the right place let's pop the uh, panel back on, always got to make sure you put the panels back on take the kind of panel off I tend to use these two corners as the, the key ones, holds it in place and then the rest of them go in easy then we go on to the, uh, the port um, uh, wing and again you've got the um, the flaps, you can't really check much of those, just that they're secure um, we do have the uh, the gear here, we've got the split pin in place um, the brakes look okay, there doesn't seem to be any creep and the, um, and the mainframe struts and all that seem to be secure um, check these wing struts and then again with this aileron lift it up so we can see the split pins you can see it moving on the other side to the opposite direction and the uh, the control column moving split pin uh, the connecting rod is all secure um, there's a split pin yeah and there's a split pin here yep checking the actual fabric and so on and the wing is good as well and um, this side's got an extra feature, it's got the PO tube make sure it's extended and make sure it's free of any obstruction we've got the, the PO tube cover off check the spars on this side, they're all secure and um, you're fine, let's just check that from this side and the brakes all look good, the tyre looks good and then check the door make sure locks and the hinges a bit squeaky but the hinges are good 